Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're out here today at uh, Taylor's Falls doing some crawling with Dino and Tim and James. You know, testing out uh, the giraffes on the Capra. So let's uh, let's see how it goes today. We'll let you know how the uh, giraffes do. And yes, you can. Yes. It's because you drove the beater, not the Dodge. Go behind the tree and rub your nipples. Can I just do that in public? Yeah. Uh, you'll be here. I won't say anything. But she's down there. 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 Sir, if you show the video, you're trying to get the light. Oh no, we'll just get the dual, the dual rock pirates, pirates climb. Here we got James leading. This is a tough little ridge we got going here. Um, kind of forces you off to one side or another. And uh, it's uh, very narrow. So you got to be just right to see James almost gets flung off here. James rocking the Rock Pirates interceptor chassis. And then behind him, you also got, you got Tim with his new rig as well. Um, which is also a Rock Pirates interceptor chassis. Then you got Dino yeah, behind him away. with the beautiful white VRD Custom. Uh, he just got that thing built, and I think this was his first time out with it. So stay tuned and uh, see how this thing performs. There's pink KMCs. Looks like I just punched him. Punched him right over there. As you can see here, I'm taking up the back of the group, and here I am trying to cross that ridge. You can see from the other side here that I'm, uh, you know, you're right on the edge, getting ready to uh, fall off if you uh, make a mistake. This is a line I saw I haven't seen anyone do before, so I wasn't sure if it was possible. Uh, the drive techs definitely help to keep that front end, you know, from unloading compared to the shocks that I had on it before. So, pretty happy with those so far, and I will definitely be putting more sets of them on other things. You can hear in the background Tim just doing constant burnouts, trying to get up this other face here you'll see in a minute, where. He's, uh, he's definitely fighting a battle. You can hear it wants to bite. Tim going vertical over here. This is one where Tim's definitely trying to battle gravity here, um, just fighting and fighting. So, yeah, well, I'm not able to make it unfortunately on this <clears throat> this run, but we'll see if he changes up his tires or you know shock tuning or something to get up there. You see me messing around up in the top there, picking some good tire with the Capra, um, trying to cross that ridge again. Um, Dino with the VRD Carbon, trying to. Uh, 
<laughs> how it's done. Uh, I know Dino was battling shock unloading all day uh -oh. with the shocks he had on there. Not exactly sure what he was running. I don't think I'm like topping this ridge. You gotta have that dig in there. I was gonna say, yeah, dig would be great right now. Like. Cause you gotta have faith. Oh. That's the point where I came to, where she's starting to want to let go. If you had the back end over this way a little more, I think you'd get it. No, it's if you can push it to just to creep over that rock, then the rear end wants to settle and you push the front down. Oh ho ho. So just keep trying to ride it and see what happens. Just keep going up. <laughs> yeah, just keep turning into it like. <laughs> it may seem stupid, but if it's going. Ran back to the car to grab the hauler so we could test out the new ground clearance after raising the tanks about three quarters of an inch. Um, really tucked them up into the, you know, right up to the bed into the cab. Had to do some trimming on the cab. Um, but definitely improved my, you know, breakover angle and stuff, which is, you know, non existent because it's a 6x6 six six hauler and a tow truck. Not really meant for crawling, but. We like doing things that aren't supposed to be done, right, so uh, as you can see here, it definitely, you know, helps to get around. So I'm definitely not mad. I would recommend anyone who wants to crawl a hauler to raise the tanks, uh, you know, all the way up. Slam them up to the bed and get rid of those toolboxes in the back. So now the lowest point oh, the back of bumpers like no man. the, you know, stuff hanging down is actually the, you know, Cross member and stuff, or the tra engine trans. This was a corner that we've done before in this, but I had to get a little bit of a pull. You can see real close here um, that the tanks being tucked all the way up and how close they are to the bed. So doing that definitely gave me the opportunity to, you know, sneak on by and slide on up this. Uh, this thing constantly surprises me on its abilities to crawl. You can see these back tires just flexing. It looks wrong or broken, but to me it's super cool. I got it. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, those lifting that tank, those tanks, really helped. New, I'll give it to you for 60 bucks. God, we'll see what happens tomorrow and what kind of money I have. And I'll probably have to take it, really. I mean, well, I mean, you can put it back here. You, you can know, put it up there. Am I, am I going for the hard one? 
I'm not, so you can control. I'm just wondering, am I going for the hard line or the easy line? Uh, that's sketchily up to you. <laughs> so, going for the easy line, huh? Like 15 or 20 minutes the first time I did it. Like, yeah, dude, we're not doing that, man. Like, As you guys can see right here, I scrape bed a lot going, you know, into places. Sometimes it's a savior, and but a lot of times it's kind of a hangout. So I think I might chop the bed back um, so it's equal with that rear bumper and see how that does. Take about three inches off the back end uh, would definitely help my, you know, more vertical climbs. So it's probably going to happen here this winter for sure. Um, we'll see how weather is and stuff. So, and if I'll, how often I'll be able to get it out, it's really going to kind of drive how motivated I am to get it done. Pressure's on, Tim. I'm not making it with the camera out. <laughs> Just close your eyes. Does that, does that help? Let Jesus take the wheel. I don't know if Jesus can handle this wheel. <laughs> What are you talking about? You made it. Finally. I just couldn't see the line. There's that line that uh, I sent you a video of. Yeah. I, I gotta go back with the beetle. Is that here? No, that's in uh, Nurse Strand. What? Nurse Strand in Karen Park. Oh. It's, uh, it's literally like probably this high off the ground, yeah, on the edge of a rock, like a giant fucking rock, and yeah, it. Uh... What are friends for? Oh, <laughs> like, what, what are you doing? What? Like... What? I've been up here in park once. I don't know if I've ever tried that line or not. It's. I'm gonna go back with a beetle, but <gasps> you just threatened the beetle. Threatening yep, I'm going to attack the rock with a beetle. As you guys may or may not have noticed, Tim is an incredible driver and he can pick some nasty lines. And he's persistent, this dude won't give up, um, which is awesome, it's so fun to watch. Um, here he's trying to go up this rock face and transition onto the tree, uh, which is which would be awesome. Um, hopefully this tree is here next time we go up because I definitely want to hit it with us RC Speedy. So we'll see what happens.
Battery? Yeah. Well, guys, if you're still here, thanks for tuning in. I definitely appreciate it. Um, you see here, Tim's still getting wild here, uh, going for the upside down entry. Um, if you guys are still here, please uh, like, subscribe, um, leave a comment what you guys liked, That's what you didn't like. Entry mode. Uh, let me know backwards. what I can do better. I the upside down appreciate entry. the positive feedback. Oh. Thanks.